Yeah. Hi, good afternoon. Trevor Bernard here, come to talk about some small ruminants business. This is Sheldon. Hello. Come. Sheldon, what you have to talk about? I'm Sheldon. Okay. All right, so Sheldon rear rabbits, goat, cow. cow. Which part of Jamaica you do that, Sheldon? Actually, we are in Clarendon, basically close to Clarendon, called Ginger Ridge. Ginger Ridge. That's where the farm is. Okay. So, coming up soon, one of these days, we're going to go to Ginger Ridge to let him show us some things that he does because I hear you feed your rabbits on some special things that yes. I don't know, a plant. Yeah, we have different type of plants such as the redhead. Redhead? Yes. Redhead? redhead. I don't know what that is. Whenever you feature the farm, I can show so, you. Redhead and wild, wild tobacco. Wild tobacco is his main yes. feed for his rabbits. So, and um, he has quite a number of rabbits, so it's very interesting to see something like that. But he has come here today to show Mr. Dane, I know you have featured Dane the, the last time. He's actually teaching Jane how to, Dane how to make a um, J-feeder. So he's in the preliminary design here. So this is one of the J-feeders that he just made. He used a ribbit gun, cut out the material and bend it and make, and make um, his own J-feeder for the rabbit cage. So he has different sizes, this is a small one. He has a big one now in the making. He's making this now for, you know, his growth cage and so forth. So Shalan, he makes his own main bender. Show us how your, your bender work. He's going to bend a piece of thing. He just weld two pieces of sheet together. Yes. And this is his own made bender that he uses to bend the sheet metal. This is well, sheet metal. Before, before we go here, this is a markup of what the, the, the pattern that he uses. So the first thing that Sheldon does, if you can see the sheet metal, this sheet metal is the same thing that they take and make zinc with. So you buy these sheeting as raw material from the, 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 the hardware or you know the places that sell it like Tankwell. Yes. And then he cuts this shape out. Now he marks out this shape with his pencil. And children, you can give people the drawing if they want. Yes. We have no problem in giving her this drawing of the different sizes. But he has this shape and he uses this and cut it out with a shear. So he uses a sheet metal shear, something like this, a zinc shear. He cuts out this pat with this pattern. What do you think is this? And this is sheeting. This like about 22 gauge. Yes. Yeah, this is probably 22 gauge sheeting and he cuts out this pattern. And this ends up looking like this. So he's gonna show us now how he bend the sheet to make the patterns. So this is his bending machine that he makes out a piece of board and two pieces of metal. So he puts it in there like that and he bends it over. That is one side that he has bent already. He puts in the next side. And in fact, that I already have the markings, so that's why I can All the markings are there and his straight line is there. And he bends it. So now he has, he has this part, these two parts, right? So now he's going to bend the next part, which he does with his hand. And sometimes you could put a little piece of board. But he's using his finger and just get that bend if he wants, right? So he wants a square bend. So no, after we do this, this mm -hmm. So, we have a marking at the back. Right. So he's going to do the next bend, which is right here. Right. Then the next bend would have been this piece right here. Right. Right. So he's showing you the different bends that he makes with it. So it's coming to, to form now. So he's doing a half inch bend fold, which he's folding here for, to, to drill the holes yes. and rivet. He's going to put some rivet in it now to rivet the, the feed up together. Right. 
So he's gonna drill a hole here and use a popper bit in it, just similar to this. And seal it and, and, and put it together. And now he has the front. And then he just drill the hole and staple it there. And then he will just bend, cut a front piece like this and bend it and staple it on. And you can also make a cover on this and put a cover on this if you like. So this is the so front. The front that right. So you can and cut that, cut make the front and put it. And you can also put a cover on it. So this is how he cuts the sheet. You can see him using the shear and just cut it. It's very thin sheet, so it's easy to cut with a shear. So there you go. So he will bend the sides and form the next side for the, for the arm. So he's bending the lips so that he can drill the hole and put the puffer bit in it. Right. And then. One of the things, Sheldon, is you have to wear gloves sometimes because you think you cut your finger. So, you know, we have to be so careful. But I think. Experience builder. Yeah, man, experience builder. Sheldon, what do you do otherwise from this? I mean, what is, if you're a farm, what is your other job? Construction. Oh, yeah, in the construction industry. So, what I want to show you that, you know, we can make most of these things. I think some people actually order these things online. And all of them are broad and you know different things. When we can actually make these things ourselves to you know sustain our farm. Mm -hmm. One of the things with that J feeder is that the back of it, you scoop it like this, that the feeding always run and come for the front. Also, the depth that you make this, you don't want it too deep because or you don't want this mouth area too wide because the rabbit will scratch out the feeding out yes. of the feeder. So, you know, it, it is best to make it a certain size and so forth. So, these diagrams are here. If you want them, you can always contact me and I can share Sheldon information if you like. Sheldon, what, you want to share your information? Like a Sheldon number or anything? Or, uh, no problem. Okay, you can contact me at 1876 All right. So, this is Sheldon, one of the. Farmers in the Clarendon area rearing goat, rabbits, and you know, has, he feeds mainly with forages. So I'm looking forward to going on his farm and show all the farmers, you know, how he does his production and do it in a very economical and cheap way. So thank you for inviting us to see how you make this feeder. And he said he doesn't have the time to make it for people, but he will show you how to do it. Yeah man, you will serve it. And then, you know, put your face in there. Dane <laughs> is at school today. Yes. Right? Today, today I don't know school. if he will learn, but you know, if he learn this technique, <laughs> he might put it on him channel and show people that why, you know, I'm a graduate from school and all. Yes. Alright, so please continue to subscribe to my channel. And it's good to come and meet these young farmers innovating and you know, making farming life so great. Thanks. Yeah man, that's a quick stop. Yeah, yeah. Couldn't make too much night. <laughs>